Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again with another video tutorial for Avid Media Composer. In this one, workspace settings, we're going to learn a few of the little tricks to make Avid work the way you want to as far as settings go and how to see and look at your data and change just how Avid works for you. Each project will probably be a little bit different. Well anyway, um, like I say in all my videos, if you've seen any so far, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified and Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't mean I'm a certified instructor in either of them. And I'm doing this for your guys' benefit because I know how difficult it can be to uh, kind of grasp some of these concepts. A lot of them aren't talked about anywhere, and the only way you're going to know them is either by messing with Avid for a long time or getting someone to help you out with it. So, hope I can be the guy to do that. Well, let's get started. Okay, first things first. You know from my previous video that when you start a new project in Avid Media Composer that you have the option of choosing your format and a name for the project. And another thing is a user setting, which you can name uh, your name or whatever. But uh, interesting enough, um, you can use these user settings on another computer, on another system. You can either put in a flash drive and save it to that since it's only going to be a few kilobytes if it's at the most simple settings. The issue with that is uh, if you save a user setting from an advanced version of Avid, like say if I was going to be saving this version and wanted to go to an older version of Avid, then it may not work quite as well and there could be some corruption problems. So just make sure that when you save your settings that you know what version of Avid you're going to and that you'll actually be able to use those settings on the Avid that you want to use.